this greatness. Y'all ready for this? I don't think y'all ready. I only touch greatness. You hear me? I'm on the podcast. Your boy Foot. It's the West Coast hip hop culture. All right? Man, speaking of that picture, I still want to know, did y'all did y'all work on something? Because I, I remember seeing that picture of you, Snoop, and Dre. I know y'all got it. I know we, you got to say all of it. We just want to know, it, was there a song out when y'all made that picture, when y'all took that picture? Yeah, he was he was uh he was working on his new album with Drake. Yep. That, that's it. That's all we needed. And and I wanted to know this too. I wanted to say this, man. If you could have your life soundtracks, now we're talking about Tupac because he had a life soundtrack. All right. If you could pick by Spice One, Tretch. Shout out to Tretch because we shouted you out on the interview we did with Tretch. Yes. Hmm. Let me see. Snoop, Nate Dog, and let's let's think of another one. Let's let's think of another one for him. Hmm. A Ras Cast. What yeah. ones? What what songs would it be off 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 your you know to explain your life soundtrack? If I, if I had to choose a song from one of those artists, yeah, one of those artists. I mean, Naughty by Nature. Everything's gonna be all right. You know Ooh, ghetto bastard. Yeah. Ghetto bastard. You see what I'm saying? That's gonna go in there already. And then since we on the ghetto, then I go to Snoop on Lil Ghetto Boy. You know what I'm saying? And then you know Razcast, um, Nature of the Threat. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, Nature of the Threat because. I'm a deep student of history. So he was dropping a lot of knowledge about history in that song. You know what I'm saying? And then um, who else did you name? Uh, Cat, Snoop, Tretch. Snoop, uh, Nate Dogg. Nate Dogg. Um, oh, yep. man. Yep. Nobody <laughs> does it better. That right there? Oh, right. my God. You get really close to man. Nate was just man. Yeah, I, he got. He, yeah, I do. Nobody does it better because that song I still play at least you know once a week. You know what I mean? I, that stay in my rotation. So, right. Nate Dog, rest in peace, the great Nate. I love you, Nate. You always kept it real with me, even when I was on death row and half the city wasn't seeing eye to eye with me. I used to meet up with Nate at the bowling alley. You know what I'm saying? Drink Hennessy and. He always kept it A1 with me, no matter what. You know what I mean? So I love him for that. And uh, who else you name? Um, I think that w- was that it? I think it was, Nate, yeah. Tretch. Nate, Snoop, Tretch. Tretch. Razzcast. Uh, Razzcast. And who, who else did I say? Oh, Spice One. Spice One. And right. Coolio. And Coolio, too. R. P. Shout Doom. out to Doom. Mimi. Doom. Doom. Do, do, do. Welcome to Welcome the to ghetto. ghetto. Do, do, do. You know what I mean? Do, 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 do. Welcome to the ghetto. ghetto. You know what I'm saying? Hey. What? Shout out what? To Spice. We had Spice on the, on the interview, too. And shout out to Coolio. We were about to say favorite Coolio song. Shout out to Mimi. Yeah. What's your Coolio, favorite Coolio song? When Coolio, when Coolio says, standing in the county line, man. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Yeah. When you in L.A., Long Beach, Compton, and Watts, and you poor, and you broke, and you live in poverty, soon as you turn 18, you could go down and stand in the county line, and they're going to give you this food stamp card, and they're going to give you $200 in cash money. So everybody used to go down to that county line, and it'll take you four hours to get in the building. That's how long the line was. And we be out there freestyling and rapping and talking shit and bagging on each other until we get inside there. And then we get in there and we start acting like we homeless because they got they won't give it to you if you got a house. So they be like, nah, you be, I'm homeless, man. I'm been sleeping on the curb and all this. You give them your sob story. They give you that food stamp card. And now you have to kick back with the homies. You got all the snacks. You got all of, you know, booze from your 200. And you just freestyling some more. You know, that's what our life was. So when he said... Standing in the county line, we was like, oh, shit. And it was so real to us, man. Um, definitely a tragedy that he gone, man. But, you know, he he contributed a lot to the culture. Not only was Gangsta Paradise one of the biggest rap songs in the history of rap, but 
when he was with Dub C in the Mad Circle, he was putting in straight work on that on that CD, and he just brought something different to the game, man. And uh, we gonna miss him. That's for sure. Right. And I'm so, so to before before we go. Yeah, though, go ahead, bro. I, yeah, we well, gotta definitely. Um, I want to give you your roses. So number one, this entire interview, bro, like you've been the most humblest dude. You're one of the tightest MCs to ever, 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 ever grace the mic. Like Thank we were talking about Slaughterhouse and everything like that. But when Cricket come on, that's what you're listening for. Like I love Joel Ortiz too, but ain't nobody holding a candle to you, bro. And so like the fact that you were even big enough underground artists that nobody even has, has got the chance to hear yet. Um, that's that's a beautiful thing, man. You are you are a humble brother. I'm 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 blessed to even be able to be on this podcast with you. Uh, Thank you. Wanna, Me too. I want to make sure that you that you got your roses and why you able to smell them. You know what I'm saying? Because I appreciate that. Thank you. You had you me know. at boom. You had me at boom boom clap. There we go. <laughs> you had me with the road, man. And to tell you too, and hip hop is alive too. They put you on a number. Number eighty seven for for hip hop's well top one hundred rap artists of all time. Like what 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 do you think about that, man? Like somebody oh, put there. you on the list. Should've they finally should have been top five. They should have yeah should have been upper. But I understand. You know what I'm saying because you got M and Snoop and you got Pac and you know what I mean. Like how is it? You know, knowing that somebody's still making lists, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get it accurate at least, but they trying to. <laughs> I mean, you know, it makes me feel good because a lot of people on that list had a major machine pushing their music for years. And I didn't. So if I could make the list without having a major machine pushing my music for decades, then I know that I've been grinding my ass off. You know what I'm saying? And I And I appreciate them, you know, acknowledging that. You know what I mean? Cause it's not an easy, it's not easy out here, and 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 that's why I do big up young artists like Sean Smith, who's an incredible lyricist. You know what I mean? JID killing them. You know what I mean? Like it's so many people that's talented, but that's why I do that when I big up the underground man because it's it's not it's not easy in the underground, bro. These underground rappers are going up against people who are paying playlists. Mm -hmm thousands of dollars people are paying thousands of dollars on youtube ads so their videos get more views thousands of dollars on radio play thousands of they just spinning 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 and you got a guy with a nine to five wondering how am i going to compete with an artist who has two hundred thousand dollar budget every time he drops something and i got a two hundred dollar budget you know what i'm saying so we got to figure out how to close that gap. And I'm glad social media closes it somewhat, but even the algorithms are hate on you. You Now, I know people spending 10000 on Instagram ads. I mean, $10,000 on Instagram ads. And it's like the average MC not going to have $10,000 to spend on Instagram. So we got to figure out how to close that gap and always, you know, wave that flag for the independent rappers, man, and let them know that we see them and they exist and we acknowledge their presence and we appreciate their art. You know what I'm saying? Man, right. sure we, we, we're all working hard trying to do something like we've been doing this three years now we're 500 year episode 571 what we've had nothing we've had nothing but legends <laughs> right damn 571 yeah. in three years we started Ju yeah. june june 2020 man yeah that's yeah a, and we had doc on here and we had doc on here which i wanted to talk about the doc go, go. weekly that you it too, shout out, yeah. But you know, you gotta go though. At the end of the day, man, I just want to say you hip hop, bro. So, hey, 50 years of hip hop, 570 plus shows is amazing. They say when people start a podcast, they usually stop after the ninth one. Mm, true, 571 is crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, I salute that, I salute to the DOC. Salute to everybody, man, that y'all had on here. And um, yeah, man, I don't know if y'all know it or not, but that was a hip hop moment because I don't think I've ever been on a podcast with Tech Nine. Huh? 
No. Hopefully you can help no. reshare it. I mean, we're gonna have the. I got a couple. Oh, you know, we PR gonna guys. repurpose this, baby. We repurposing yeah. all these <laughs> clips going up. All these <laughs> clips going up. It's content. Sure. We live in a content driven world, baby. This we what I've been telling you, Brian. This is what I've been telling you, bro. Like I'm trying to tell you, bro. You take this whole thing and make a hundred clips, bro. I'm telling you, a hundred right. clips. You got clips by clips. Bro, are yeah. uh, you reels? Real you got TikTok videos. You got all of it. You got it all now. We got extendos <laughs> over here. We got extendos, <laughs> bro. Hey, Crook For is real. going down. Perfect. Thank you. Hey, so this was awesome. And you know that I've been a big fan of you for fuck, ever since Boom Boom Clap. And, Appreciate it. And, yeah, you are just as humble as I assumed. And you showed it back then. When you gave me the free tickets, and yeah, and the little things you you did something nice for me twenty years ago, fifteen years ago, and I never forgot about it. So that's beautiful. I love it. Right, Perfect, right. Man. All right, thank you guys. Y'all be safe out there. Be healthy. Thank you. Our you too, man. Y'all. So look into the health side. Got you. Thank you, G, right? yeah. Thank you, buddy. Keep it G. All right, peace, peace brother. Peace. peace.